haven't done this in a little while. I'm sitting out in the cockpit about 8.30, having, a, having my coffee, my morning coffee and cigarettes. It's just dead calm. It's right about high tide right now. There's not a lick of breeze out. But luckily the, the no seams aren't out. I'm surprised about that. But I may actually do something today. I might actually wash the boat. I'm, I'm not going to swear to it, but I might. But uh, I haven't sat out here and shared my coffee with you guys in a while. So I'm just taking a minute to do that. I'm saying hello to everybody. And hope everybody else is doing good this morning. And uh, I just forced a habit. I just was sitting out here and, and wanted to say hello to everyone. So good morning, y'all. And just like this, I should have been videoing this. This is Laura. Hey, I'm Lauren. Laura, Lauren, we're, I'm at the T-Mobile store because, like you've heard before, I lost my phone overboard. And I came here, and they're helping me out. And uh, can be set me up with a new phone come Tuesday. That's right. I'll be back in shape again with my old number. Uh, so you won't have to change anything in your phones. And I just thought I should, why not? Look at this. Look at all the deals you can get everywhere you got. And they're really helpful and nice. So come Tuesday, I'll be back in old ship shape. Thank you. Well, I'm trying to catch the first sunset since I got back on film anyway. It's not that spectacular. But uh, it's one I wanted to catch. I said I uh, got this phone today. I went into Verizon. Even though, even though I'm just now learning everything on this phone, Tuesday I'm going to be getting me another. I'm talking. That phone I got is about the same price as what you're paying me, but it's too big, to, it don't even fit in that waterproof bag. <laughs> anyway, so anyway, uh, I'm gonna catch this, this moment, and like a full Tuesday, I'm gonna be getting a different phone, and have to relearn that phone all over again. But it's like I'm a glutton for punishment, I just don't know when to call it good. But, it's, it's a nice enough sunset. Just wanted to catch it while I could. And this is Dave, my neighbor, who's over there fussing about something. I'm not sure what. <laughs> oh. The water has claimed something else then. Seems like it always does. But anyway, getting a little bit of film out of the rest of today. Look at all these beautiful homes out here. It's kind of nice to be back. I've been back for 10 days and still haven't really started doing all the stuff I need to, just little bits and pieces. And uh, I'll get to it. I'm just kind of rushing myself up after my journey back here. But it'll all happen in a good time. All in due time. Hey, uh, I want to go ahead and give a, a special hello and thanks to uh, someone that uh, I know from the marina when I was here, and actually from the marina at Swan Point. They were uh, uh, dockmates of mine there also before I came down this way. But I was going through a parking lot, going to a store miles from here. And this, I see this big old guy go by. And I look at him. I said, hey, hey, Bert, Bert. Bert Bridges, he's just this big, big guy. I mean, he's a hulk of a guy. But he's got the, the heart of a teddy bear. And uh, I was so glad to see him. It was him and his wife. Uh, D bridges, like I said, they were they were at the marina at Swan Point when I was up there. Then when I came down here, I didn't realize 
they came here like a month before I did, and I didn't even know they were here, and they were here then. And now I hear that uh, they're, or D is anyway, is running uh, the marina at Surf City, I believe it is. But I want to say hello again. I saw I said hello to Bert today, but D, I want to say personal hello to you too. Uh, it was really, it was really a pleasant surprise to see Bert up there. It made me happy. It made me happy. So, uh, special hello to to uh, to you all. And I want to say hello to another another special person that's been was part of my life for a long time. Uh, I have to. Dr. Douglas Holland, who uh, at the time was just plain old Doug, is, uh, is my brother-in-law. And of course, I am no longer married that way, but uh, uh, he's still, I found out, he uh, he watches these videos. So Doug, I just want to say hello, and uh, I want to thank you for watching. I hope uh, it meets, comes up to some kind of, some of your standards, I hope so. But I just wanted to say, uh, uh, Thanks for watching. I wanted to thank you also for the help you've been giving Adam, my son. I really appreciate that. And I like I said, say hello again to Bert and Dee and uh, and Doug. And that's all. I just wanted to throw this little bit in. I was thinking about you guys and I thought I'd just throw a little piece on the on the video about this. And I'll try to add it in well, I will add it the next time I post. Whenever that will be. But until then, we'll see you later, people. Here uh, at the marina, this is Dylan. Dylan's been here a while. He's now the manager. Well, yeah, the dock manager. Yeah, dock here. master here. Dock Carolina master Beach Yacht Club. extraordinaire. Yeah. And he's just got a new, beautiful boat. Point to boat over there. Yeah, Tell him about that uh, little boat. I'm going to take a little yeah. shot of it later. It's a 1971 Mariner 32 uh, catch rig. That's right now, the main mast is getting some rigging work done, so it's just got the mizzen up right now. Um, uh, it's, a, it's a gorgeous boat. I'll, I'll go by and give a little quick yeah. quick walk by after a while, but I just wanted to, everybody to meet Dylan. I've known him here. He's been here for four years now, at least, right? Three, four years? Uh, it's only been two, actually. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. been here for two and, years. And uh, he's just risen in the ranks. Now he's the man. Yeah. Okay, Dylan, thank you for this interview. And uh, I'll get you on with some of the other people, I hope. This is the boat uh, that Dylan has gotten. I just wanted to do a really quick video of it because it is just a beautiful boat. Beautiful boat. And it's in really, really good shape. He got it and hasn't had to do a whole lot to it. But as you can see, it is a catch and it only has the mizzen mast. He's uh, got the, the main mast up there going to be mounted any day now. And then it'll look like it's supposed to. But look at the spacious amount of room on this cockpit here. And all the wood. It's called Hilo. From East Bend, North Carolina. And this is a wooden mast here. The other mast had some degradation to it, so he's putting up an aluminum mask in it. But look at this, this is a gorgeous boat. Well, this is the one he's working on, and it's just a beautiful boat. Okay, here we are back at the marina. This is another one of my interviews. This is Jojo, the self-proclaimed mayor of the <laughs> marina here. Yeah, that he was one of the few people who was actually here before I got here, so he he is definitely one of the old timers. Oh, Joe, just say hello. Tell me what boat you're on. You want to say hello to anybody? Or tell me about yourself. How you doing, all? Yeah, I'm from Boston. I'm a Boston boy. Uh, been down here for the last in this marina on my boat, uh, the Amazing Grace, for the last in this marina for this will be going on seven years now. Wow, that's a long time, Joe. Yeah, it is. I think you're one of the oldest residents here, aren't you? I believe so. Al, Al's got a year on me. Okay. His sailboat, and, and he he's, he got here just before I got here. Okay. So yeah. 
with the original gangsters here. So. Yeah. <laughs> Joe's been, always been a really good friend to me. Yeah. And he's good always times. a pleasure to talk to. We've always had some good with. times there. Yeah. This is a good marine, a nice place to be. Nice place to call home when you want to go. Yeah. Home, that's why know? I'm back here. That's why you're back here. Yeah. Well, anyway, this is it. I'm just, this is in my, my, I'm doing my series of interviews with people here that I know and other people who have gone other places that may want to say hi to. Hey. So there you go, Joe. <laughs> You're going to be famous now again. Uh,